Hi everybody. Hola, buenas tardes. Good afternoon. This is Fran from travelingsteps.es and today I am with Susana from To The Guia. Yes. Uh, today we are in Tarazona. T-A-R-A-C-O-N-A. -A -A. Tarazona. A beautiful town. Yes. It's not a village. It's a little bit larger than a town, a village. Where history, art, everything works together. Exactly. I would say. It's where the place where Muslims, Jews, Christians, everybody have lived together. Happily ever after. One. More not, or less. Not happily, but... <laughs> In peace. <let's laughs> They're living together, yeah. They're living together. There we go. So, welcome everybody. Hola, James. Shall we start? Hola. Buenos, <laughs> buenas tardes, James. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. So, take a look at this beautiful church that we have here. It's not a church. It's a cathedral. So, shall we start? Okay. Let's turn the camera around. Oops. Okay, this is a car coming. Hopefully, we'll not get run over today. No, he's okay. gone. So, uh, let's start with the church, with the cathedral of yes. uh, the vegetable garden de las huertas. Sí, eh, Santa María de la Idria. Idria. Idria, sí. Which means vegetable garden. Exactly. The issue is that we are, let's say, uh, so, by the way, sorry for the wind. Today is a super mega windy day, and well, that's what we have. Uh, the thing is that this, where the, where the cathedral was constructed, it was by the vegetable gardens fields around the city. Okay, so it was not inside of the city. We are outside of the old city. Okay, of, yes. Uh, okay, the Fu Fuera de la, de la ciudad amurallada. Okay, outside of the walled city. Exacto. And here... Uh, okay, it's five o'clock. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. <please. laughs> we know with the time now. So the thing is that Probably one of the most important things that we have in Tarazona, it's the Muslim heritage that we have here. Exactly. Okay. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about history in a moment, but as we are here in the cathedral, let's talk about the Mudejar art. Spanish art. So, what is Mudejar? Mudejar. En español, Mudejar, eh, aquellas personas eh, que han vivido, musulmanes que han vivido eh, en en ciudades bajo el poder cristiano se les llamaba mudéjares. Which means that a mudéjar is a person, a Muslim person who lived in Christian territory. Exactly. Okay. And they were accepted and they could work and live more or less in peace. As we were more or less in peace, yes. So the thing is that the mudéjar style here in, uh, well, by the way, the, we are not in Navarra today. We are in Aragon, okay, which is the old kingdom by Navarra. Okay? Exactly. Today is a province, but that's where we are. Here, the Muslims stayed much longer than in Navarra. That's why they have this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful art. So, let's see some of the keys of that beautiful exactly. art. First of all, we can see the tower. Hola, Tracy. How are you doing? Uh, the Mudejar art, the important thing is that most of it is constructed with bricks, not with a stone. Exactly. And you see all of these beautiful by the way, this was constructed on the 12th century. Exactly. Okay. Uh, it's Gothic style, but it's kind of strange to say Gothic, Muslim Gothic. It could be. <laughs> it's, it's kind of weird to say something like that. But everything was done with bricks. Okay. And in fact, this bell tower looks more like a minaret than a exactly. Christian uh, tower. A tower bell. Okay. Uh, well, let me make a zoom to the stark nests, because I think they're huge and they're so beautiful. But there being a big problem right now all around Spain, because uh, storks, they used to be migrating birds. Now, due to the weather changes and everything, they're not migrating anymore. And they're constructing these mega heavy um, yes. nets in these churches and they're collapsing. So yes. we need to do something with nature. Anyway, we're talking about the bricks uh, construction and the other thing which is very important are the tiles if you go to the south of Spain and you go to the Alhambra you're gonna find tiles absolutely everywhere hola Patricia que tal estas and if you see take a look all of those beautiful tiles making crosses okay so it's a mixture of Muslim Christian yes. it's kind of strange but I think it works so beautifully oh it's I love it 
So let's go down these stairs. Let's turn the camera around. So, whoops, camera around, I'm saying. Okay, there we go. So, so hopefully we will not fall, but I think the view from us down here. Yay! Uh, so, this church was constructed on the 12th, well, church, sorry, cathedral, constructed on the 12th century. Then it was, there was some huge wars between two kings, kings, uh, both of them they were called Peter, Peter, Pedro, la guerra de los Pedros, conocido en España. War between Peter, Peter of Castile yes. and Peter of Aragon. Aragon. Okay? Yes. Um, uh, you love Tarazona, Catherine. Hey, Catherine Driver has been to Tarazona. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> ah, oh, super cool. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, it was destroyed. Uh, that war took place between 1356 and 1369. Exactly. And it was remodeled. So, it has had several changes okay the thing is that it looks so extremely beautiful and impressive yes. it's really an incredible incredible uh, piece of art I mean, okay, let's cross the road nobody coming let's go 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 go, go. we're crossing a <laughs> road and not very legally <laughs> who's counting <laughs> anyway so uh, it is still a running cathedral yes I mean, so masses and everything it takes place in here really if we wouldn't see the cross on top of the tower i would say we were in any muslim country yes. because it's really beautiful i mean it's exactly. like that's mixture of the two religions yeah, working yeah. together okay so let's turn the camera around we're down a hill whoops and we are entering let's say the old part yes. of uh, tarazona exactly and look at that it's so beautiful by the way today the day it's gorgeous uh, it is sunny it's cold it's we're only like uh, 60 fahrenheit a little bit it's 59 yes, right. fahrenheit it's fantastic and unfortunately there's a lot of wind yeah okay so uh, we were saying that one of the most important things of tarazona sorry for the cars it's that it is in the birch of the three most powerful kingdoms in Spain. Exactly. On the Middle Ages. Navarra, Aragon and Castile. Exactly. And uh, Tarazona was founded many, many centuries before by the Celts, Iberian Celts. Exactly. Okay. Then the Romans came. Romans. And the 711, when the Muslims invaded Spain, they came all the way to here, they settled, they gave all of this beautiful art. So really, it has so much history into it. Uh, another of the important things that we have in Tarazona is its location. Yes. Because we are, we're going to see now the river, but this river, it's called Cailes, it's an affluent to the Ebro yes. river that goes all the way to the Mediterranean. And besides that, it is the natural entrance to the plateau of Castile. Exactly. Okay, to the Castilian plateau. So all the trading and all, so many other things they were done in here. Yes. So, amazing. Anyway, here we are in a funny looking building, yellow building. Hola, Colin, how are you doing? Hola, Patty. What is this? What was this? It's a Plaza de Toros. It was, was a bullring. Exactly. Uh, this incredible bullring was constructed in the 18th century, 1700s. Yes. It's octagonal, has eight sides. And when it was constructed, it was constructed by eight wealthy families yes wealthy people exactly. and they constructed 32 houses all right this entrance i mean look at this it looks like a ball ring it's, it's the so entrance cool. for the public it was the entrance for the public so the publics uh, the public the people who would come to watch a bullfight they would enter the way we have did it and here they would i've been watching el cid ah there's a yes yeah, this is lana lisa we one day we're gonna go to burgos where el cid was born Okay, we're gonna be doing Burgos shortly. Anyway, this beautiful bull ring, okay, uh, it was constructed in 1792. 92, yes. And it hosted for many cent for many years yes. bullfights inside of here. Exactly. Now it's just private houses, exactly. and this is a, just an incredibly beautiful courtyard. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Uh, is there a bull? Do you know if there's a bull ring now here in Tarazona? Eh, de, eh, hay una plaza de toros. There is one. 
Sí, que es la que funciona. Esto se usa simplemente para espectáculos. So now, oh, it's still used for shows. Sí, pero vamos poquito. ¿eh? Okay, not big deal. <laughs> One of the things that I love, well, we both love, of this square, there's this artisan here. Está abierto, le digo. Uh, the thing is that this artisan, what he does, it's wooden work. Look at these beautiful trunks, and he makes all of these incredible sculptures. I think they're so extremely beautiful. I mean, uh, like in Tudela, when we were there, yes. we saw this, uh, how do you say, pottery uh, guy. Uh, el, el chico. Yeah, Ca here, ca cafetan se the cafetan, there we go. And here we have this gentleman who does wooden work, which is amazing. So it's super, super cool. Okay, so uh, Tarazona, really, it's an easy city if you come to visit. Okay, and it's easy, difficult to get lost, mm -hmm. but extremely beautiful. Yes. Oh my God, look at that. El edificio más antiguo. So that building is the oldest building that we have in Tarazona. It is, it was the Bishop Palace. Exactly. Construido uh, sobre la roca. It is constructed. Let me see from, if I can zoom in. Because as Susana is saying, this was constructed on top of the rock. This is a natural rock, you see it? Mm -hmm. And it was constructed on top of the rock directly. Okay? You have all of those Romanesque arches and then the Bishop Palace, again with the bricks and the Mudejar style, all the way up. Yes. It's such a good um, and the stork nest all the, also in the corner. But it was also used by the kings of Aragon. Exactly. They stayed in here. Okay, so really the bishop... Uh, the Reyes Catholicos. Oh, means. the Catholic kings came here? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that one. Yes. Okay, so the Catholic kings even stayed at this incredible palace. Yes. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. I had no idea about that one. Anyway, the main patrons of uh, Tarazona are San Atilano. Yes. And the Virgen del Rio, the Holy Mary of the River, yeah, which la, is la de, this. De la Virgen del Rio. Hola, Susana Chao. How are you doing? This church. Oops. Sorry for that. Uh oh, oh, my gimbal is playing funny again. So this little chapel that we have here, yes. this is the patroness, the Holy Mary of the River. Uh, that's her name. And oh, there's a car coming. Oh. No, let's go. Okay, let's go. And this is the river, which is called Cailes. Cailes, yes. Okay. Uh, the river Cailes, let's take a beautiful look at it. It's, today it's not strong, but look at the, all the construction done by it, because really it can get very, very strong. It's a very, has a lot of water. Yes. The second manantial most important in Europe. Ooh. Yes. The second uh, most important affluent in Europe. Yes. So it's nothing in el Moncayo. Okay. That's a good one too. Uh, this river borns, gets born in the Moncayo mountain. Uh, the Moncayo mountain, it's a huge, well, huge. It is part of the Iberian system. Exactly. It is 7,500 feet tall. Yes. Okay. And it is right here. In fact, this chilly weather that we have here today, it is done or caused by it. Right? Really, uh, the issue with the cold here, always kind of cold. I mean, this, the winter, this village is freezing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, really amazing. Okay, so uh, inhabitants, Tarazona, there's uh, a little bit under 11,000 people lives in Tarazona. Uh -huh. uh, and it is the capital city, or the most important city of uh, the Moncayo area. La Comarca area. de Moncayo, okay, yes. Comarca. How do you say Comarca in English? Hmm. In English. I, I don't know. know. Well, <laughs> <laughs> the, all, all of these different villages around, this is the main capital of it. Yes. This is very quiet here. Yes, Tracy, it's quite quiet. Well, you have to think that uh, it's five o'clock in the afternoon and kids are going to start coming out of school right now. So, okay. Now, well, you're going to hear us running out of breath, by the way, <laughs> because we're going to go <laughs> up, 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 up. By the way, we are going up. <laughs> you know, uh, last week it was Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> and one thing that we've been before we did the tour we've been checking everything around and I want to show you <laughs> one thing because uh, somebody dressed up as Chihuahua <laughs> <laughs> and this family they have the 
they have cleaned the costume. <laughs> I know it has nothing to do with history, but I think it's kind of funny to see this Chihuahua costume <laughs> up here. <laughs> <laughs> so the whole village can see that. Yes, they went dressed up as Chihuahua. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> okay, sorry for that. <laughs> okay, even more steps going up. <laughs> but Tracy, that's so funny. I think it's like, you know, I'm a Trekkie. Uh, that's Star Trek and uh, Star Wars. All of these things I love. Oops, that movement was a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so now we're entering the old part yes. of uh, Tarazona. La Roca. So remember, this is the basis of the Bishop Palace. And as you see, all of it is the rock. Right? It was constructed all the way at the top of the rock. Yeah, I'm not like oh, I'm okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now we're going higher and higher. Oops. I don't know what's wrong with the telephone. There we go. Uh-oh. Sorry for that. Perdido? No, no, no. Ah. Okay, so now connection can be a little bit weaker because we're getting into this, what we call the Jewish quarter. And here, a connection, as you can see, the streets are quite narrow. So please bear with us. If we break in no time, we'll be back, okay? So that's something very important. Yes. To exactly. keep in mind. Exactly. So, Vamos. okay. Hola. Hola, Hola buenas. buenas. Estamos a punto de llegar. Okay, we're almost up. Almost. Almost up. Okay. Because we're coming to an incredible viewpoint. Okay. La entrada, this is the entrance of the Episcopal Palace. So, the Episcopal meaning Bishop House. <laughs> ah, vale. <laughs> it's easier than okay. Episcopal. Okay. And uh, this is the Church of the Magdalena. Yes. The Magdalene. It's a Romanesque church from the 12th century if you see the abscess they're gorgeous okay and again we have the normal uh, abscess of the romanesque yes style and the incredible tower bell tower constructed in mudejar style exactly but what is impressive from here i'd say it has to be this. I think this is the most beautiful view of Tarazona. And look at that. We have the bull ring here. From up here, we can see it perfectly that it's a normal bull ring. Yes. Old bull ring. Okay. And especially the view of the cathedral. Estuvo rehabilitada y se cerró durante 30 años. Oh, in order to restore the cathedral. Okay, it was closed for postcard view, yes. It was closed for 30 years, right? Yes. In order to keep it this beautiful. Trisha is asking us, uh, do you know if there is still an active Jewish population here? No, not. No, not no. Now. Uh, we, don't ha we don't even have a synagogue. Uh, no, I don't think so. No, 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 we don't. So look at that beautiful tower from up here. I think it's, this view, it's amazing. Yes. And remember the Moncayo mountain that we were talking to you about? It is mm, that one. No. Uh, we can barely see it, unfortunately. It's well, good enough, we could say. That is the Moncayo mountain. That is the Iberian uh, system. Okay, so this is a little bit south of the Ebro River. But anyway, the great thing is the view from here. It's astonishing. Mm -hmm. Janet, yes, it's a beautiful little town. Yeah. Okay, so keep on going. Okay. Okay, let's, let's turn this camera around because here there's like only parking, so might as well get our beautiful faces in camera. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Vamos a la juderia. So now we're entering what it is known as the Jewish quarter, okay? And really, it's super narrow and oh, de gato. Uh, de gato. everything de petite. Cat. Well, there are a hundred cats. We are, we've been taking pictures of cats non-stop. Let's see if he stays. Okay, okay. Let's see if we can make a zoom to him. Yay, look at that cute little cat. Oh, hi, baby. Hey, what, how are you? Boop, don't go. Please, don't go. Okay. Hubo una escuela de traductores muy importante durante toda la Edad Media. Sephardis. Exacto, exacto. Okay. 
That's a good one. Uh, in Middle Ages, there was a huge uh, school of uh, Sephardi translators, which is uh, Sephardis are the Jewish population in Spain. Exactly. Okay. And there was a huge school of translators for them. And so, from Hebrew, I guess, to Spanish. Yes. Okay. One of the peculiarities of Tarzana are these funky old houses. The hanging houses of Tarazona. I think they're so nice. Casas colgantes. The hanging houses? Yes. So, uh, do you know when they were constructed? Uh, no, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, we'll... Okay, let me show you. Okay, we're in the Jewish quarter. And in Spain, so we'll be back to the houses. All around Spain, you're going to find this logo. This is a... Peninsula a Iberica. It's uh, Spain and sí. Portugal. Well, in fact, it is yeah. the other way. We should be pointing it yes. like this. Okay. And uh, all of this is when you find something like this on the floor in Spain, that means that it is uh, in the Jewish heritage cities exactly. of Spain. Exactly. Okay, so it's a very important symbol. If you're looking for some Jewish heritage in Spain, you need to look for that. Okay? Yes. So anyway, these houses are hanging on the cliff. Okay? They were constructed... In Spain we have other hanging houses, probably more famous than ours, but these ones are, I think they're so cool, they're so yes. beautiful. Can you imagine living up there? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Quite interesting, <laughs> it's difficult to live. Look at that. So we are here on the highest part of the town, and uh, okay, these ones have been restored are much more beautiful than the other ones, mm. but all the balconies and the whole thing, they're hanging up there on the wall. So I think it's Super beautiful. Yes. Okay, shall we go back? Silence. Yes. It's amazing, eh? The silence. Silence, peaceful. Okay, silence. Can you hear the birds? There are no noise. It's so peaceful. Yes. So, so, so beautiful. Okay. Anyway. So, let, whoops, sorry. <laughs> no worries. So, let's uh, keep on going. So, hola Janice, hola Helen, how are you doing? Okay, so, uh, really, what is uh, the economy today of Tarazona? Mm. Tourism? Principally, principally, yes. El turismo lo, es una de las fuentes de económicas hoy en día porque Tarazona está muy reconocida y no podemos olvidar que el Mudéjar en Aragón es patrimonio de la humanidad. Ok, so the, one of the most important incomes for the city it is tourism, especially because of the Mudéjar style. You have to understand that this Mudéjar style uh, here, in the Mudéjar from Aragón, ok, uh, ah, okay. It is recognized or is uh, as world heritage and it's only present in here in Aragon and Tarazona is probably one of the most important places to find this incredible way of art. Exactly. So uh, if you have a chance to come to Tarazona, really it's a pleasure yes. to come and learn and it's very easy to visit uh, the Tarazona. So yes, well, hola Flavia, it is very easy to visit, yes. but I always recommend to hire the most incredible <laughs> local guide, <laughs> Susana, <Me. laughs> <laughs> who is, I mean, she knows everything, she knows all the history. Uh, today she's like, I'm not talking in English, but no, she doesn't no, speak I'm English. I'm tired. Okay. Today I'm tired. She's sorry, exhausted. sorry, yeah. sorry. It's five o'clock, and so whoop, it's five o'clock, and she hasn't had lunch yet. So thank you, Susanna, oh, so ah. so so much. I'm fine. I'm fine. For joining us today. Yes. <laughs> so we gotta go and have something to eat right after this. So thank you. Thank you. Uh, so really, she's the most incredible guide here in Tarazona and all around it. Okay, so if you come to the south of Navarra, this corner in Spain, to the guías, is your people to... Look the narrow street. Uh, yeah. Okay. Callizo. Calli look at it. I mean, okay. I can almost touch from one side to the other side. Yes. Super narrow. Oh, look at that. Yay! <laughs> Touching both I sides. Oh, no. oh, that's right. Oh, sorry. That was a microphone, that tomp that you heard. <laughs> yeah. 
So okay. anyway, as you can see, this is Jewish quarters are very, very narrow streets and very petite and very small. Once again, Wi-Fi maybe is failing a little bit. But we have one more thing we want to share with you, which is uh, the city hall. Yes. Of Artajona. Oh, Artajona. Tarazona. 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 <laughs> uno de los ayuntamientos, una fachada más de las más bonitas de que hay en España, reconocidas. Yeah. Consider this city hall that we're going to see in two seconds. Well, look at the colors of the houses that I love. Here you have salmon, yellow, green. It's so beautiful. But this facade of uh, Tarazona, in case you want to know how it's written, there we go. This is where we are in Tarazona and take a look at this incredible, incredible. 30 meters, casi. It's 30 meters wide. Yes. Uh, it is. Fue la lonja inicial. So it was the market. Market. Okay. The, El lugar para también donde se hacían las corridas de toros. Bullfights that were also taken in this plaza. In y this ahora la, el ayuntamiento. And now it is the city hall. Uh, it is in Italian. Uh, it was commissioned by Gabriel Orti. Yes. Okay. And it's Italian style. Yes. Eh, friso. What? Uh, un friso. Ah, I okay. don't know the name in English. The friso. The, well, that. Well, represents la... So, la this... Idea. You see all of this. Let's see if we can get all the details. It's impossible to get all the details. But you see all of those uh, people walking in. ¿Ves what el we see... Mm -hmm, that's where we're going. Okay, es so el, this el represents the entrance of the King of Spain, Charles V, who is there under the palio, okay, yes. under the little with the shelter, pope. with the Pope, entering, yes. uh, how do you say, Bologna. Yes. Okay, it's a representation of his power and all of the committee that enter in Bologna. It's so, so, so incredibly yeah, beautiful. It's amazing. Besides that, we have on the upper deck that, whoops, let me see if I can zoom out. There we go. That incredible uh, corridor with all yes. of those arches. And on top of each arch, important people to the city of Tarazona. So as you can see, we have angels inside of the arches and we have people. I mean, I think, can it be any more beautiful? I think it's really it's amazing yeah i mean and we have I the coat of arms okay the yeah. important thing let's see this one it is we have all this huge coat of oops sorry for that <laughs> and the important one it is this one which is the uh, coat of arms of spain yes okay of course. so are we done yes yes okay our friends this is it let's get the back of the beautiful beautiful city hall of Tarazona hey, Susana thank you so so much for oh. joining us today oh, thank you to you everybody <laughs> <laughs> thank you everybody for joining in yes uh, having a little time to learn a little bit of this side of the world yes. and we love sharing with everybody all of this as you all know all of these tours are tip supported if you want to leave a tip we have our tip yard there thank you very much and we shall see you on Sunday on our cooking class with my wife Ainoa and next Tuesday we still have no clue where we are visiting so stay tuned and if I have not sent you an email it's because I don't have it if you want to keep updated with what we're doing and what we're up to please send us uh, through direct message your email address and I'll send you an email letting you know when why and what time everything about our tours and everything everybody Susana, thank you very, very much. Bye-bye. See you later. Hasta la vista, amigos. <laughs>